Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw sugar skulls, which are some super awesome skulls that they make in Mexico when they're celebrating Day of the Dead. Alright, so to do it first, we have to draw a skull. So what we're going to do, we're going to always, write, like always, we start with our pencil, and we make a skull by combining two shapes. Alright, we're going to combine a circle and a rectangle. So, and we want to make sure it is a big circle. So we're going to put our hand in the middle of our paper, like this, and spread out your fingers, okay? And you're going to draw a circle around your hand, like that, all right? Now, it's not a complete circle, so we have this empty space at the bottom, but we are not going to fill that in. Instead, we are going to put our rectangle here. So you're just going to start on this side and go down, and then across, and then go, and then go up. All right, and now we have our skull shape. All right, remember, if I'm going a little fast for you, you can pause the video, all right, and complete the step and then continue on, okay? So once we, now we have the shape of our skull by combining two shapes, the circle and the rectangle, we need to make the parts of our face, right? We need eyes and we need nose and we need mouth. So to do the mouth, the mouth on a sugar skull really isn't the whole mouth, it's just the teeth. And we make those teeth using ovals. So what I like to do in the mouth is this, oh, is this rectangular part. I like to start in the middle of my rectangle and I draw a big oval. All right, and then I'm gonna put some ovals on the side this way. And then I'm gonna do some other ovals on the side that way. All right. And I have space for more ovals, so I can keep going, and I can add another oval on each side. All right, so now he's got awesome teeth. All right, and then I'm going to put two lines down the middle, so that looks like he has top teeth and bottom teeth. All right, the next step we're going to do is the nose, right in the middle of our circle. And the nose is an upside-down heart. So if we want it to be upside down, we could draw it upside down, or we can just turn our paper. We can turn our paper upside down, and then in the very middle of the circle, draw a heart. Right? Now it's right side up. And then if I turn it, now we have an upside down heart for our nose. All we need now are some circles for the eyes. I'm going to do a big circle on this side, and a big circle on this side, because skulls have really big eyes. All right, so now we have our skull. All we have to do now is color him, all right? And I have some awesome examples here to show you. Some of them I drew, and some of them I made using a process called collage, all right? This is one that I drew, all right? So when you make your shapes, your teeth and your nose and your eyes are going to be colored in black. But then you're going to use lines and shapes and patterns to decorate your sugar skull all around and Fill all the white space of your skull. All right, this is another one I made. I made the shapes on this one by cutting out paper and gluing them together in a process called collage. All right, but I did all my designs with crayons. All right, and then here is another one that I did using even other different designs and lines and shapes and colors. All right, so I cannot wait to see the awesome sugar skulls that you make. All right, make sure you use your shapes, okay, and, um, and make sure you use lines, shapes, uh, patterns, and colors to decorate all over your skull. All right, guys, you guys are amazing. I can't wait to see all the awesome work you turn in. I know I went fast in this video, but that's okay. If you need to slow it down, you can slow it down, or you can pause between steps if you need to, all right, to catch up. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you later.